Congress will be voting on a bill tomorrow to potentially ban the popular social media site TikTok. Legislators worry about the dangers of a Chinese company having access to digital information. The bipartisan bill could force the parent company ByteDance to completely cut ties with the Chinese government within the next five months or face a ban of the app in the United States. News Channel 7's Austin Maida went out in Panama City Beach today to get some reaction from those who use TikTok the most. It's either TikTok or nothing. TikTok or nothing. That's how many who use the social media platform feel. They say they use it all the time, every single day. Hours. A lot of times. a couple hours a day. Hours. Yeah. I use TikTok quite often. You know, if I, if I want that answer, I'm going to go on TikTok. I just be scrolling for fun. Whenever I'm bored, I just scroll. It's not just for funny little dances. Young folks use the app for many different reasons. Most years, like, follow influencers and my friends. Really. Taco salad. I'll be making tacos all the time. Learn that from TikTok. I don't make TikTok, but I watch a lot of them and they make me laugh. So yeah. that's why I use it. Yeah, more for yeah. comedy. Yeah. Like the good videos. Yeah. And with a vote coming on Wednesday for a bill that might ban TikTok in the U.S., young folks aren't happy about it. I would be so sad. Yeah. Like, I, because I don't go on any, I think I go on TikTok the most, probably. TikTok, that's a it's a main it's a main platform in social media today. So a lot of people use it and I think it should stick around. A lot of creators, content, I mean that's how they make that's how they live. The majority of the all, young people, that's all, what they're doing. I mean, that's what they're doing. They're posting content to make their living. So that's shutting down how they get their income. One common thing we heard is that young folks aren't that worried about their information being stolen because they say it's already happening everywhere else anyway. Every day. There's millions of people out there. They're trying to get your information no matter what. If it's on TikTok, Instagram, you go shopping to swipe your card at a, at a you know, a card reader. They're going to get your information at the end of the day. Uh, I just think that everything takes information. Everything takes like yeah. Your phones, they yeah. can listen to you. Alexa's like listen to you. you do is a risk. Safe to say, the younger generation is outspoken about the subject. They're trying to shut it down. They're trying to shut TikTok down. And you know what? I'll, I hope y'all don't shut TikTok down because it's a learning, it's a learning platform. It helps it's everybody. It's a choice. Else. You get a choice. It's like, I mean, you can choose to use it or you don't. And that's up to you whether or not you get affected by it. In Panama City Beach, Austin Maida, News Channel 7. Very outspoken. If the bill is passed and signed by President Biden, it would force ByteDance to divest its ownership of TikTok within 165 days.